Today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting with unlike denominators. So put that at the top of your page with today's date in the top right corner. When we add and subtract fractions, we have to keep the denominator the same. For example, if we have 7 eighths plus uh, 4 eighths, we know that the denominator is going to stay 8. In multiplication, you would actually multiply them, but in addition, the denominator stays the same. So we have 7 eighths plus 4 eighths, and that would give us 11 eighths. And then we'd change it into a mixed number for 1 and 3 eighths. Um, so what happens when we have denominators that are different? Well, here we have 4 fifths plus 1 sixth. The first method I'm going to show you is just finding a common denominator. And the easiest way to do that is to multiply the denominators together. Because we know if we do 6 times 5 here, our denominator is going to be 30. Likewise, if we do 5 times 6 here, the denominator is going to be 30. Okay, and remember, whatever you do to the bottom of the fraction, you have to do to the top. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So we multiplied by 6 down here, so we have to multiply by 6 up here. We multiplied by 5 down here, we have to multiply by 5 up here. So our denominator, remember, is going to be 30. And our numerator, 4 times 6, is going to be 24. And over here, 6 times 5, we know, is going to be 30. And our numerator, 1 times 5, is going to be 5. So we have 24 thirtieths plus 5 thirtieths. And 24 thirtieths plus 5 thirtieths is 29 thirtieths. Because remember, we keep that denominator the same, and we add the numerators. So what we did is multiply by the opposite denominator, because we knew that it would get us a common denominator. It may not be the least common denominator, but at least it's a common denominator. Try number two on your own. Okay, welcome back. So here, we're going to multiply by the opposite denominators. I'm going to multiply this by 7 and this by 8. Remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So times 7 up here, multiply by 7. Times 8 here, up here, multiply by 8. So the uh, denominator for both is going to be 56. And 1 times 7 is 7. Plus, remember, again, denominator 56, because it has to be the same when we add or subtract. 2 times 8 is 16. We add them together, 7 plus 16 is 23. Remember, denominators stay the same. Now, I know that I can't reduce this because 23 is a prime number. And unless 56 is a multiple of 23, which it's not because 46 would be, I know that it's not going to be able to reduce. So our answer would be 23 or 56. The next way to do it is to find the least common denominator, the least common denominator. Um, so here, we can't really do this yet because we have to turn these into not mixed numbers, but improper fractions. Okay, so we can't have the big whole number out front. So we're going to do 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So that's 13 sixths minus still, right? 2 times 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20 over 9. Now, I'm going to find my least common denominator. So to do that, we need to list all the common multiples of 6 and 9. So for 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. For 9, we have 9, 18. Oh, we have one right here. We have 18s, right? So we know that our least common denominator is 18. So what we're going to do is whatever it takes to get to multiply 6 to get to our least common denominator, which is 18, we're going to do that. And we know our denominator is 18, so I'm going to just put it down there. So to get from 6 to 18, we multiply by 3. Remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. So 13 times 3 is 39. Here, to get from 9 to 18, we multiply by 2. Whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. 20 times 2 is 40. So here we have... 39 eighteenths minus 40 eighteenths. And remember, denominators stay the same, so that's going to be 18. Keep, change, opposite. 
So 39 plus negative 40, 39 good guys, 40 bad guys, you're left with one bad guy. So your answer is negative 1 18 Try number four on your own. Okay, welcome back. Again, let's change these into improper fractions. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 6. Minus 1 times 8 is 8, plus 5 is 13 eighths. Let's list all the common factors, or sorry, common multiples. So common multiples of 6 include, like we did up here, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Okay. And what about 8? We have 8, 16, 24. Ah, we found it. So 24 is going to be our least common denominator. So to get from 6 to 24, remember we want 24 in our denominator, we are going to multiply by 4. And here, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So 7 times 4 is 28. Likewise, here, we have to go from 8 to 24, so we're going to multiply by 3. Multiply that by 3. 13 times 3 is 39. Subtract. Uh, remember, denominator stays the same, so we have 24. And 28 minus 39, keep, change, opposite. And we get negative 11, so our answer would be negative 11 24ths. So whatever method you want to use, you have to find a common denominator. Whether it's just a common denominator by multiplying the opposite denominator, or it's the least common denominator, it's up to you.